right, Shanika, thank you. D.C. police are investigating several break-ins and vandalism that happened overnight. That is right. D.C. News Now's John marie Sassay is live at City Center, one of the areas impacted by this. So, John marie there is still heavy police presence out there. Yeah, good morning. Definitely a lot of heavy police presence around the entire city center, just further down the road. That's where a lot of them are. But we moved up just so that you can take a look at one of these sources, one of the businesses that were hit during all of the chaos overnight. Now, this is Morgenthau and Fredericks. You can see a lot of glass inside the store. They finally just boarded it up not too long ago, maybe about an hour ago. They just finished boarding it up and painting it. But just look at still, you can see all of the damage on the inside, just glass everywhere. Now one officer tells us that they didn't steal anything, but a lot of the stores were just broken into um, last night. Now overall, there was about six businesses broken into and about six incidents of destruction of property as well. Now MPD does says that areas of Georgetown, the store near 8th Street, Logan Circle, Columbia Heights, and also here in City Center, these areas were hit. Now, property was destroyed and businesses were burglarized. And police are investigating about six burglaries and six destruction of property offenses. Now, they have arrested at least five people and they are being charged with destruction of property and fleeing from police. Now, in a statement, police says overnight groups of individuals decided to destroy property and burglarize businesses throughout the city. As a result of the incidents overnight, MPD will continue to maintain and increase police presence throughout the city. City, and MPD does not tolerate acts of violence or destruction of property. Now, again, this is just another look at the Morgenthau Fredericks right here on 8th Street in City Center. You can just see all of that glass all over inside. Again, they have boarded this up. Also around the corner, the Gucci store was also broken into as well. That front left side of the door was boarded up as well, but you can see the security uh, gate that was damaged during this entire incident. We actually spoke to several neighbors or people who are heading into work and walking around the area. Many of them just shocked and surprised about what they woke up to see. Just heavy police presence everywhere, but we're going to continue to follow this story and bring you the latest. For now, reporting in Northwest D.C., I'm Yamar Sase, D.C. News Now.